most un unrated, underrated player on the team, Tell me. Trey Lanch. And you want to know why? I do. He's working in Southern California right now with Debo Samuels and Muhammad Sanu. That's that's underrated. I love that. It's, it started off with him working out with Sanu. Now he's recruiting Debo Samuel. It seems like he's leading this team. Plus he worked out with uh, the other wide receiver earlier in on the season. I don't know why I'm bringing dead. Jordan right. Matthews? Not Jordan Matthews. No. Brandon Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk, Ayuk, earlier with Brandon Ayuk yeah. at Exos or wherever it was. Yes. Yeah. So what does that tell you about Trey, Trey Lance, that he's, he's a leader. doing this right now? He's, He's a, leader. a leader of the team. Absolutely. Jimmy G has never did this. He doesn't you know, know how to do this. I think Jimmy did do something like this last year. I'm not sure, but he's not doing it now. It's over. It seems to me like if think, Jimmy ever had. I don't think he did it last year. Did he do, was it not him in Nashville? I don't know. I no, no. 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 None, anyway. none of them worked out. Oh, he might have done one at like San Jose State. I think he might have done one at like San Jose State like for a minute. Anyway, if he didn't, he's not doing it now. That's what I keep noticing is like there's all these every week. Trey Lance did this. Trey Lance got this guy to come. Trey Lance and the 49ers are over here. Where is Jim? What is he want to do? Is he competing? Is he competing or what? He's not competing. It sounds the like the problem is we're only a month and a half away from preseason. That's right. And he ain't doing nothing. But yet our rookie is being a leader. He's getting people together. He's working out. He's going to take the job from him, and, and Jimmy G's going to wake up without a job. Do you think Jimmy's just kind of waiting to get moved? I think I mean, so. he didn't he didn't return last year like everyone else did for the last couple of games. He practiced. He looked like pretty good in practice. Well, but he gave he up on play. the team, and, and that's seems important like to Kyle last year. It seems like it, right? He could have came yeah. back and played. I mean, our tight end came back and played, you know, yes. and it was meaningless, but he still showed up and played. Jimmy and didn't want to come out of the booth doing his little extra sketches up, up there, you know, he just didn't want to come out and play. I mean, it seems like he wants to change the scenery. It is. You know, it seems like he wants out. There's so, several teams uh, that need a quarterback too. You got Washington, you got Green Bay now. If what's his name don't come back, uh, Miami ain't looking good. Be nice to get our two first round picks back for Jimmy. If they get if Jimmy right wanted out. this job, he would be organizing these workouts and saying, look, Debo, look, Sanu, I know you guys want to get to know the kid, but, I'm the quarterback of this team. You're coming to my camp. And you know what, Trey? You're coming to my camp too. As long as you're, we're still on the team together, I am I have seniority, and you will not organize camps uh, to, to, to undermine me. I'm, I'm organizing this. And the fact that he doesn't seem to want to just seems like he's kind of capitulating. Like, hey, Trey, if you want to take this job, go for it. I don't want to be here anymore. I mean, I he's been all the way from Tennessee to Southern California. And where's yeah. the next one before, you know, mini ca or, or camp starts? That's I, I don't think people are reading the situation that well. I mean, it's not like Kaepernick in 2011. There was no offseason that year. This year, he's had the spring training to learn the offense. He's done all this extracurricular stuff in between. He's taking the job. And he's and picked not the offense up. Back. According to everybody, he's picked the offense up and ran with it. That's a good answer. I think he no is the most underrated people. Happen. And you know why he's underrated? Because Niner fans haven't seen him yet. And they do love Jimmy Garoppolo. Because he reinvigorated the franchise, gave him credit. Yeah. But once they see Trey Lance, he's not going to be underrated anymore. One more question. Sure. When they go to West Virginia at the Greenbrier to practice yes. when they're on a road trip here, do you yes. travel with them and go to the things like that or not? I could, but I would basically have to fund myself and write it off. And I don't know if hey. I want to do it. I'll probably – I probably won't. Why are you gonna be? It's out by you, right? Oh yeah, oh, I'm, yeah. I've, I've got tickets on the way already. I, since I since I got to I was myself born and at the Green, where they practice oh. at. I was born at the hospital at the Greenbrier Hotel where they are going to be. Oh wow! Yeah, so it's my it's my home where they practice at. That's cool. You know, I've been by that field they're going to be on a hundred thousand times. In the how far is it? How far away is it from where you are right now? Three three hours and a half. Oh, nice. Yeah, you should go. Plus, I've got go. all my aunts, uncles, everybody lives right there. So maybe I can get you a press pass. You can cover it for me. <laughs> if you can do it, I mean, if I'm only I could, it right? For you, you know, we could go live on on the phone and and whatever Dude, you want. Look to at do. your eyes light up, man! I wish I could get oh, press yeah, passes. Dude, <laughs> autograph, call, autograph, autograph. <laughs> See you, Michael. So, yep. Great, great call.